Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing us how to prepare a very simple deep conditioner or pre-pull which you can apply your hair to soften it, to condition it and to help with hair growth. You're going to need just four ingredients for this conditioner or pre-pull. The first one is rice and I have my uncooked rice here. The next thing you're going to need is raw oats. I have my rolled oats here. This is not instant oats. This is just a little bit of a surprise. I'm going to show you guys how to use this and how to add it and mix it up and then the next thing you're going to need is some olive oil i have my goya olive oil here you can pretty much use any oil that your hair loves and then i have some palm oil here i decided to add palm oil at the last minute because i have not used palm oil in a while and if you are new to my channel then yes i use palm oil in my hair from time to time i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to prepare this you're going to measure out your rice into a cup or a bowl or a pot just go with the quantity that is going to be enough for your hair or if you're going to be using this with someone else go with the quantity that will be enough for you and that person and then pour some water into your rice we're not going to parboil this rice we're just going to wash it first before we cook it which is what i'm doing here so i'm simply washing my rice i washed my rice twice and then i drain out the water two times before i went ahead to measure in my rolled oats Once my rice is washed, I'm going to go ahead and measure in my oats. You don't need to wash your oats because we know oats does not need to be cooked as long as rice does. And it also does not require too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure. I used four tablespoonfuls of rolled oats. And then I added some water to cover both the rice and the rolled oats. And then I cooked the two of them together. They no need cooking separate. So they just cook it together. But make sure that your rice is soft enough to blend. Once that was done i brought it back and then this is what i have in my cup this is the cooked rice and oats so i simply added some water into it i'm going to go ahead and blend this mixture and you want to make sure that your rice is soft enough the oats is not a problem oats cooks in no time so i just went ahead and added some water the water i was going to use to blend it and i also wanted to make sure that i did not add too much water because you don't want your deep conditioner to come out watery so once you've added enough water just to cover your oats and your rice go ahead and pour that into your blender i poured in everything that was in my cup guys so i poured that into my blender and once it was blended i brought out my wig cap placed it over my cup and then poured and then poured the blended mixture into the wig cap if you don't have a wig cap you can use a kerchief you can use a sock or you can use a cheesecloth anything that will help you to strain this without particles go ahead and use that Meanwhile, I didn't wait for my mixture to completely cool down before I strained it. I strained it hot and it took me a while to get it all done. You can wait for it to completely cool down, but that may mean that it will get thick and it may be a little more difficult to strain. So straining it while it's a little hot will help you to get it out of your cheesecloth or whatever strainer that you're using easier once you're done straining you should have a thick paste like this if you need to add a little water go ahead and add a little water but don't forget that the oils you will add will also help to lighten the texture and consistency so i added some olive oil I added olive oil because it penetrates my hair very easily and i added palm oil because it helps to condition my hair it helps to add shine to my hair it helps with detangling it just helps to make my hair super soft and it's a very healthy oil to use on your hair other options of oils you can use include coconut oil you can use avocado oil you can use grapeseed oil and you can even add some essential oils if you want but i didn't add any essential oils i just used these two oils because this is a very strong this is a very 
potent conditioner and so i was trying to avoid adding too many ingredients so just four ingredients are enough your two main ingredients which are rice and oats and then any two oils that you choose you can add essential oils or you can leave essential oils so once i was done with that i simply stirred it up and then i transferred it into an applicator bottle simply call this a rice and oats meal deep conditioner and for some of the benefits of this deep conditioner it helps to nourish your hair it helps to strengthen your hair it helps to reduce reduce hair loss it helps to add shine to your hair it helps to add sleep and aid its handling one of the reasons in fact the number one reason i added the oatmeal to this deep conditioner is because oatmeal helps with sleep oatmeal is great when it comes to sleep once you add oatmeal to anything you're doing in terms of your hair you can be sure that it's going to soften your hair really well and if your hair is super tangled you'll be able to use that product on your hair to aid with detangling all the ingredients added to this deep conditioner contains vitamins and minerals from vitamins B to vitamins D to vitamin K and other vitamins and minerals which help to boost hair growth, help to condition hair and overall help to improve the health of your hair and the state of your scalp. So for my application, I simply moisturized my hair in sections first. The reason I moisturized in sections first is because I didn't want to soil my moisturizer bottle or my water spray bottle by spraying each section and then touching the deep conditioner and then repeating the same for each section. By the way, this method saves more time. So I simply sprayed the water on all four sections before I proceeded to apply my deep conditioner or my pre pool I use this as a pre pool and I applied it to my hair right before I shampooed that's what a pre poo is so this is my hair right after I took down the twist in the video before this one on my channel and so I was unable to detangle my hair I took down those twists dry for me using water to take down my twist just makes the process harder for me and it makes me spend more time loosening my hair so I simply took down the twist dry and then I tried to comb my hair out dry but that didn't work so I knew that I needed to prepare a pre pool that had enough slip to help me detangle easily and that's exactly what this pre pool did so i went ahead to apply my pre pool to my hair and then i let it sit in my hair for one hour before i washed it out after that i proceeded with the rest of my wash day i washed out the pre pool shampooed my hair conditioned my hair did some more detangling i didn't use a deep conditioner because there was no need this one was nourishing enough for me not to have to use another deep conditioner so i simply applied that to my hair and then once i was done i proceeded to wash my hair out and then finish up my wash day and that was about it that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to give this video a thumbs up to help with engagement leave a comment down below and i will see you in my next video Don't leave me